Digital transformation offers the opportunity for information to travel through the food supply chain. Let's first take a look at what the supply chain is. The supply chain is, you know, from the soil to the, uh, you know, all the way through to when someone is actually eating, you know, a, a food product. The supply chain is really the lifeblood of any kind of society and any kind of community in terms of thinking about uh, access you know, to key ingredients, key food, and thinking about how do we feed communities. The supply chain is the ability to get products from where they're produced into a consumer's hands. Now let's look at how the supply chain is going to evolve in the future, all with the help of digital transformation. So the future of the food system is about dirt to dump. So it's not just from seed to fork. There's many exciting things that are taking place right now that have a transformative and potentially disruptive effect on the supply chain of food. Um, I would put those in, in two broad categories. Uh, the use of IoT for recording, automatically recording the transactions across the supply chain. So basically validating that products are moving from point A to point B preferably passing that information to a blockchain ledger. Uh, and the second category, which is an area where uh, Centaur is very much active in, is recording the quality and how quality is changes from uh, point to point in the supply chain. The food industry will have a greater relationship with the consumer of the future. Um, and the reason is, is that that was what the consumer wants. Imagine the possibilities when data enters the equation. Watch how the data moves. It starts on a cattle or a piece of livestock. A tiny chip can collect data about the health and location. It can see, listen, and collect intelligent information. That data can then travel to the processing plant through distribution and logistics, then to the grocery store or restaurant through that last mile and even into a consumer's home. Farm to Fork has been changing dramatically with the introduction of technology. So the Internet of Things in the supply chain is, in my opinion, fascinating because it's really a data supply chain now coming alongside the actual food and agriculture production supply chain. Some are calling it Supply Chain 4.0, which is simply a term for when the Internet of Things Robotics and artificial intelligence are used to automate each step in the supply chain. I think that what people have recognized is that through digital transformation, the food system can become more streamlined, it can become more effective. The things that we never thought possible in terms of, I'll just give you an example, of repurposing waste, food waste, which is a huge issue, uh, and then turning it into something that is actually productive can now happen because we understand better from the time that the product is produced, actually grown, produced, moved through the supply chain, lives its useful life at a retail location, and then is to be disposed of, can now all be tracked. For the food industry, it offers opportunities to improve communication on the farm, automate production at the factory, do predictive shipping, automatically record transactions, track products from production through to the shelf, record the quality of the food, monitor spoilage, and automatically do last mile delivery. McKinsey suggests that in the supply chain planning stage, forecasting errors can fall by 30 to 50%. So let's start at the beginning for the food industry on the farm. Today, really, if you start at the beginning of the supply chain, uh, and you think about farming. Farming has been aided by all sorts of geomapping and all sorts of communication that we never could even perceive 10 or 15 years ago. A lot of complexity in the food industry happens in between the farm and the table. And this is perhaps where the greatest opportunity lies for digital transformation in the food industry. And the food industry seems to work in a way which is kind of top down, meaning that if you look at the supply chain from like when you bring something out of the ground all the way to the consumer, usually things happen, seem to happen first at the point of the, the ground or at the point of the consumer. And it's what happens in between where there's a lot of complexity. So never let a good crisis go to waste. 
Uh, in this case, the transportation crisis is the thing that is driving automation to the next level. By offering visibility by means of sensors introduced in storage, introduced in the logistics chain, we can extract viable real-time data that allow end users in the supply chain to understand where waste manifests itself. We are seeing sensors in RFID introduced early in the process to track and trace all the way through the last mile of delivery. And so RFID as a, an economical tool to use in the supply chain has become much more realistic. When you look at trying to be able to ensure that the food that you deliver to the uh, consumer is safe, both from a, you know, from a handling and a growing uh, proposition, the whole chain of traceability is really important. Then if there is a problem, you know where the problem came from. Today, with digital technology, you can track everything. And suppliers can be sure that the information being received by the buyer is accurate, and buyers can use that to make better decisions. We predict that the consumer of the future, um, and certainly the developed world, is going to be a very sophisticated consumer that has a knowledge base and, a, and cares about what they eat and where it came from. If we want to become more efficient, more predictive, more sustainable, and more responsive to customer needs, we need digital transformation in the supply chain. The idea of knowing at each point in the supply chain when a product has moved from one gate to the next really allows us to do things that we could never even think of. Supply Chain 4.0 has the potential to lower operational costs by 30%, reduce lost sales by 75%, and result in a decrease in inventories of up to 75%. It will eliminate waste, it will drive down costs, and it will automate planning. The time is now to take the supply chain to the very next level with the help of digital transformation.